Dr. J here, wanting to share with you about something that's quite important when it comes to treating people nutritionally. It's called your HPA axis, and the HPA stands for your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. Now, what that is, is basically how your brain conducts the sy symphony of everything in your body, through hormones, through how it modulates what your memories and imaginations are, through help, how it helps modulate what your immune system is doing, your biochemistry, and also what uh, communication with your, your, your brain, okay, and their, your top cortical centers. Uh, where we come in with this is everything takes its instructions from the brain, obviously, and the HPA axis is what controls uh, like the thyroid and tells it what to do, your adrenal glands and tells it what to do, and basically any endocrine gland in the body plus lots more. Now, what happens is when we have any type of injury, like a physical injury, trauma, or an emotional trauma, or a chemical trauma, like you got poisoned or had a bad medicine reaction or something like that, your HPA axis can become weakened, okay? It's not like it shuts off, but it becomes weakened. And people with a severely weakened HPA axis that's been uh, traumatized, for lack of a better term, um, they feel disconnected because the HPA axis is your mind-body connection. The hypothalamus is where you, it literally is the physical junction of what your thoughts are and emotions and how it relates to your biochemistry and how you physically connect to your body. So. People with HPA weakness feel basically detached from life. They feel like they're in a cave, like they can't connect to things. They have memory problems, okay? They just have this disconnectedness from how things are, and um, that's some of the symptoms that go with that. People that their HPA axis is working right, they're very connected to things. They're very lit up and alive and focused. So if you feel like you have some problems there with being, feel like you're in a cave or walled off or disconnected, or just not attached to life, that could be just as simple as you had some type of physical, emotional, or chemical trauma in your life and your HPA axis is weakened. And what we do for that is give people nutrition uh, from standard process, one of which is hypothalamex, then there's black currant seed oil, hypothalamus PMG, 2 and omega oil, folic acid, and simplex F for female, simplex M for male. Now, what this does, this is the nutrition that helps to drive the biochemistry so your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis can come back online the way it's supposed to be. It's kind of like rebooting a computer. When the computer's locked up and not working right, you have to turn things off or reboot it to get things functional again. Give me an example. My secretary, Mary, her sister, Shelly, um, she had um, some surgeries, some brain problems with a brain tumor three years ago. And ever since then, things obviously haven't been right, and she's lucky to be alive. But when she has too much external stimuli, like she gets too much... Uh, uh, someone coming at her or information coming at her or she gets too emotional, okay? What happens is it physically shuts down her body. Well, this happened last time she came to visit because they had some family stuff going on and she basically started to shut down, curl up into a fetal position, uh, put the dark, dark glasses on, put me in a dark room, don't talk to me, things like that. And when this would happen with her, because it's happened several times over the last three years, she would be done for three days, gone. Just be put her in a dark room, don't talk to her, she doesn't feel good, just can't communicate, on and on and on. And what we did, they wanted to take her to the ER because she wasn't here at the time. I said, like, just bring her up here, I know what that is. And basically, her HPA axis is weak. And when it's like that, it can't handle all the emotional stimuli. It can't handle any external stimuli too much, and it shuts her down physically. So I literally had her to reboot her HPA axis. What we did, we had her chew on the nutrition. Hypothalamus, hypothalamus PMG, black currants oil, tuna omega oil, on and on and on. And when we did that, over a period of an hour, uh, it's like nothing ever happened. Because just like when someone takes um, a medication for like angina in the heart where they take nitroglycerin, there's no physical time for that nutrient to get from your mouth to the heart. It's a neurological reaction. So the body literally knows, I got it, I got it covered, and neurologically things calm down. Well, when we did gave her, made her chew the nutrition through her neural pathways, that allowed her hypothalamus to basically reset. And um, an hour later, it's like nothing ever happened. And she went on about her way, and uh, life was good after that. To give you uh, my experience with this, I learned about this from a brilliant doctor out of Houston. And I didn't think there was anything wrong with me because I'm focused and I'm energetic and lit up and everything else. But we were at the seminar and he had us chew the nutrition, the hypothalamus, simplex M for male, and a black currency oil. And I literally, after just a few minutes, I had a buzz. I literally was just in the room, very present, very focused. It's like I was seeing different extra colors I'd had noticed before. I, he just says, it, 
Shelly had a very bad weakness, okay? Mine was just slight, but even that slight weakness of the HP axis, axis I was as uh, connected and in tune with things as I could be. So now, guess what I take every day? My nutrition for my HPA axis so I can be as lit up, focused, and alive as possible because our nutrition drives our biochemistry. Our biochemistry drives how we feel mentally and emotionally. So when you have biochemical problems from lack of nutrition, you emotionally don't feel right. You mentally don't feel right. That's that disconnectedness or not focused or memory problems and things like that. So we start with the HPA axis now on people with most everything when it comes to treating them for nutrition because everything comes from the top down inside and out so when your brain we have to get the brain circuitry working properly to first balance out the biochemistry of the body so hopeless made sense uh, it's called the HPA axis and it's where we start with people now on treating nutrition because if the brain's not coordinating things right guess what nothing else works right and you're just playing with problems downstream versus dealing with problems upstream so if you have any questions please give me an email at drjnutrition.com oh that's my website drjnutrition at gmail.com and um, I will glad to get back to you thank you